So today we're going to take a quick look at save stations. These can be a little bit trickier, but it's really pretty simple. There's just some little bit of technical stuff that goes on with them. So first thing with save stations is you need to peel them for the save station. You obviously have tiles down here that you can build your save station with. This does nothing. It just tiles. And in fact, let's get rid of this here. Just move that out of the way. If you didn't even have the tiles in there, it will still show up. So yeah, it still shows up with the safe station. So you don't even need to put the tiles in there. That's more a visual reference for yourself. It's like, oh, hey safe stations right there, so all that fun stuff. I really don't know why I'm rebuilding this. Don't have to. Anyway, first few things besides the PLM, to edit a safe station, you will need to keep in mind the low value and the high. I don't know why this is not 80. I did not change this one, so apparently Something was going on with it. So anyway, the low is the index of the safe station. Now this is in criteria. Um, it's the first safe station. And your ship is the index of zero. That's the first one. Um, zero is first. So for other areas, when you get to them, your first one would be zero. You don't have to start with zero. You can start with whatever number you want, but... Anyway, I believe there's only eight saves per area. I could be wrong about this, but I believe there is only eight, but that should be plenty for you. So you'd go from 00, zero to 07. Those would be safe indexes to use. And otherwise you just need the PLM. And it's just near the top of the list here. After all these fun errors, stations, elevator, save. So yeah. You just need to grab peel up. So, one thing we can do, just to have some fun, I already went through and played a little bit. I'm saved currently at this save station in my little tests here. So let's go put a save station out here. Because this will show the numbers a bit better. Get rid of that grass, nobody likes grass. Alright, so, just get the numbers set up right. And we know that one's zero, 01, the ship is zero, 00, so let's start with zero, 02. Just gonna put it right there. So now, here comes the fun part. The save station won't just work because you put it right there. It won't save and load right here. In fact, you can do all kinds of screwy stuff by doing something like that. So here is where it gets a little bit more technical. The easy part is you need to go into a room that connects to that room, first of all, and then press L over a door tile. I kind of think of it like L for load, save station, whatever. So that's one way to mind. And then edit area load stations. Now here's the index, that's the ship, that's the one we're saved at. So here's the one we just placed, 0, 2. Room ID, use current room for this load point, that's what you pressed L for. Because you can't actually... You just do that. Um, door date. No, this is what you pressed L for, never mind. <laughs> one of those you pressed L for, it's one of those. Alright, so we got those all set up and good. Now here comes the more technical aspect of it. I'm just going to save that for now. So basically this part, you could kind of think of it like a microscope zooming in on a certain part to load into. So first you got the room and a door that points to that room, so it knows it's that room for a fact. So you're narrowing it down to an area, the room, 
Now you're narrowing it down to a scroll block within the room with these two. And then you narrow it down to the tile within that scroll block in the room with these two. So before we even mess with this, let's get out and figure out how many scroll blocks we have. So it starts out 0, 0 for both the X and Y. That's actually that's 4 over, so that's 0, 3 on the X because 0, 0. And then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. So 0, 4 on the way. So get back in here and always make sure to double check you're doing this one. I can't tell you how many times I've screwed up and edited the wrong save station because I forgot to change the index. And that's a pain to fix. So we know the Y is correct, but this one is too far over. So I want the 0, 3. So now we've got it in the right scroll block. In fact, just to show this. Um, go on here. Right. And now that should work, I imagine. We'll find out here. And here is generally what I end up doing, is I do a lot of testing to get it right. I can get it to the scroll block, very simple, but I always end up guessing with the numbers within the scroll blocks I've never bothered to remember, because I can just go and test. And testing is, as always, very important. So, here's our safe station. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Activate save, now let's reset and see where we load. Obviously, <laughs> that is not the right spot. So, actually, let me just scoot this up a little bit so you can see everything. So, like, there's a block. It's two, three. So she needs to be on top of four more blocks to load up here. And she's off center by one. So, again, this is generally how I end up doing it. So, and again, it's in hexadecimal, so it's 1 through F, which F is 15, or 0 through F, I guess, technically, because it's 16. Um, so if we raise up 4, it's 89. I'm just going to guess with a 7, then we know if he's 1 too far left, because when you have all zeros, it defaults on the x-axis here, straight to the middle, which is these two tiles, which are safe stations, obviously not quite centered, so let's put a one there, save. And every time you test, you have to make a patch. And then you have to load it again. The nice thing is, once you save at a safe station, you can test it really quickly like this. So yeah, now you can see we're at the right x-axis. Not quite the right y-axis, though. Like right in the middle there. And that is a very simple thing. Just do 7, 8. It's sort of like a half tile. So it has to load Samus a little bit above, but it'll still end up walking smoothly across, you're not going to fall onto it or anything, if I did this right. Um, the zero is because the ship ends up loading at zero. For reasons. So let's go back and test this real quick. And again, testing is always very important. So there you go. We did that. And you can walk right off. So that's what safe stations are. The little technical bits just telling the game. You know, it's zooming in on a specific location to load the character into. Now, say for instance, 
Like if you just move the ship, just edit the zero zero safe station. You won't have that with the other areas. Now, let me see if I. So if we hide in true, sure, why not? If you want to just like hide the intro, start it to plane it, which is not a bad thing. If you don't want to start it to ship or anything, it's not a big deal. You could simply get rid of the ship, just move it, leave it for your escape or whatever. Um, and again, it's zero, zero is the index. And that's what it will load at if you hide the intro. So if you want to change that to load into some other room. Like up in here. All you would end up needing to do. Get rid of this stuff. Let's go ahead and edit this together here. 103 for this index. And I just realized something. I'm not going to be able to get in there with this door cap. Let's replace that index just for fun. We'll deal with items later. Don't worry. So now that you got that, what you can do... And I still can't get up there because I don't didn't collect bombs. Good job, genius. This should be good enough. Now that we've got that. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I forgot. I'm trying to replace the ship. But that's basically all you end up having to do. Just edit that zero zero. I've already saved, so I guess if I start a new file, it should work though. So again, make sure to go back, press L over the connecting door, grab that data, get back in there, and current room set zero. We know the X. It's on the zero axis here, obviously. Actually, no. It's on the one. Why we're on zero. There we go. And... I do not believe that's right. Let's try a six eight. And... Obviously a few blocks from the middle. And let me just make sure that this indeed come out the way I think it should. So not quite. Up a block too high. Need to go over a little more. But yeah, you can see I just loaded right into that spot, so. Save, done, cancel. Make the IPS patch again. Now this should be... Okay, good. There we go. Now we start the game right here. So that's how you'd start the game. Some other place. Location, just edit that first index. Something else to keep in mind. I'm gonna move all these guys away. Because they might actually... Kill me. Say we want it off center. That's a fun thing to do. It really isn't bad, it's not that difficult or anything. So now that we're left of center, things are a little bit different here. Because everything we've done has been pushing Samus to the right. 
So what you do to do off center is yeah, I believe it's F F and then I'm only a couple blocks to the left. So let me see what that does. And if this works first time, I will be shocked. So yeah, a couple of blocks short of there. Again, this is literally what I do when editing the save stations. Lots and lots of trial and error. But again, they're not hard to do. Especially when you know the basic stuff of what you're doing, so. So there we go. That's how you load left of center. You put FF in the first two digits, so then it's kind of like subtracting the value from the center so that you go left instead of right. So that is the basics of safe station editing. There's really not much to it. Um, just always, always remember, press L over connecting door. It cannot be the door in the room. It has to be on the outside connecting in. So if you're making a save room but haven't got the connecting room yet, don't set up the save station yet. Because if you're, for instance, using this room just to set it up, but you use this room and this door in particular to go elsewhere, you will have issues, you'll have to redo that part of the safe station editing. So make sure you have your main room first, then you can do the press L over the door or whatever, and then set up your safe station. Safe stations can go anywhere. Um, some things to keep in mind, that'd be good to keep in mind. And use these guys for reference. Be careful if you put a safe station in like a main room. Nothing wrong with that. But make sure enemies can't get you while loading or anything like that. Because, let's face it, that's not fair or fun. So, I'm loading. I'm getting attacked. I can't do anything until I'm finished loading, so... Keep that in mind. You're dancing for some reason. So yeah, keep that in mind. Don't be careful placing the safe stations in rooms with enemies. It can be done, but have them all elsewhere. Because literally, it's no fun just to get murdered while you're just sitting there. Kind of like that SLR hack I made. So yeah, anyway, that is the basic stuff with safe stations. They're not hard to do, and they're definitely a plus for every hack they're in. So keep playing around with them. You'll get the hang of them really quick. They're really not hard to learn. And we'll start seeing more safe stations in your hack. So that's it for this tutorial, and we will see you in the next one.